Welcome everyone. So today we are going to solve this very nice problem and literally 90% failed. Okay, so we'll understand what went wrong. So here what we have is x plus y as 8 and x equals to 8. Now in this kind of a question, what we should be first doing is that we'll try to put everything in terms of one variable. Okay, so here instead of y, I can write y equals to what 8 minus x Okay, I'll put it over here. So I will have what x into instead of y, I'll have what 8 minus x equals to 8. So this looks like 8x minus x square equals to 8. Put everything on one side of the equal to. So I'll try to put x square as positive minus 8x e plus 8 equals to 0. Now this looks like a quadratic and which cannot be factorized further. Okay, so please understand when you have to, uh, when you have to factorize a quadratic, which cannot be directly factorized, we will try to use the value of what formula, which is what minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Okay, so here your a is what one, a is the coefficient of x square, b is what coefficient of x which is minus 8 and c is what coefficient uh, or the constant of your uh, quadratic that is nothing but just 8. So let's put it over here I will say x is equals to minus of minus 8 instead of b we'll put minus 8 so it gets you what 8 plus minus root of b square which is what 64 minus 4 into 1 into 8 upon 2 times a which is 1. So I have x equals to 8 plus minus. Now this is what 64 minus 4 into 1 into 8 that gets you what 64 minus 32 upon 8. Okay sorry no this is not upon 8 this is actually 4. Okay so now let's understand what will happen further. So I will say x equals to 8 plus minus 64 minus 32 is what again 32 upon 4 okay now please understand 32 can be written as a perfect square okay so we'll try to put a 32 also outside the uh, root so we will have x equals to 8 plus minus root of instead of that let me just take another page so I have x equals to 8 plus minus root of 32 can be written as what 16 into 2 upon 2. Okay. Now if you look closely you have x equals to 8 plus minus 4 root 2 upon 2. So I have if you take divide both sides by 2. So I have x equals to 4 plus minus 2 root 2. So I can say that value of x is either x equals to 4 plus 2 root 2 or I can say value of x is x equals to 4 minus 2 root 2. Now, if you remember, we had taken the value of y as what? 8 minus x. So here what we will do is I know that value of y is what 8 minus x instead of minus x I'll put 4 plus 2 root 2 and here also I will have y equals to 8 minus 4 minus 2 root 2. So I have the value of as y as what 8 minus 4 is what 4 minus 2 root 2 or value of y is coming out to be 8 minus 4 is 4 plus 2 root 2. And if you remember, let's put it in your original question, okay. Your original question was nothing but what x plus y equals to 8. So if you put it over here, so value of x is what? 4 plus 2 root 2 plus value of y is what? When this value, see please understand, you have to correlate. If x is 4 plus 2 root 2, you get the value of y as what? 4 minus 2 root 2. 
so here if you look closely this is cancelling and which is getting you the value of 4 plus 4 which is coming out to be 8 right so here i can say these values are absolutely correct for x and y similarly let's try for this particular values so here we have 4 minus 2 root 2 and when value of x is 4 minus 2 root 2 at that time the value of y comes out to be 4 plus 2 root 2 okay so this is cancelling and then you see we get 4 plus 4 which is 8 and which is exactly your RHS so here also I can say these two values are absolutely correct for the for this particular question now let's try and see what happens if you put the value or if you look at the other equation let's just understand that the other equation was our x y is equals to 8 <clears throat> so again we'll take this value which is what 4 plus 2 root 2 into 4 minus 2 root 2 okay so now this is looking like what a plus b into a minus b so basically that is nothing but what that is normally in the form of a square minus b square. So this is what 4 square minus 2 root 2 the whole square. So 4 square is 16 minus this is nothing but what 2 square which is 4 into root 2 that is what again 2. So this is eventually coming out to be 16 minus 8 which is coming out to be 8 and that is exactly your RHS okay this I am particularly doing because there are people who thought that this was that was easy that's why I put it over your note this also if you put it back in the second equation you should get the same answer so please understand whenever you're looking at your sums you have to check for at least one equation should be okay but just in case people thought that why did not I use x into y equals to 8 no you can put it in the other equation also you will still get the same value now I hope you understood that why I have not taken checked for this because here eventually this is coming out to be same only 4 minus 2 root 2 into 4 plus 2 root 2 which is exactly this and we have already proved that that value is coming out to be 8. <coughs> so I hope this is very very clear to everyone. Please look over here the value of x is either 4 plus minus 2 root 2 and value of y will be what 4 minus plus 2 root 2 okay so when value of x is positive at that time so with, when the value of x has plus inside similar at that time value of y should have negative that is what you need to remember okay i hope this is very very clear to everyone and uh, that's it for today apart from this if you have any particular doubt then please comment below i will try to make a video on the same okay that's it for today i will see you in the next video